Well, here we are, I'm riding through the woods again. Up Brown Hills, Burntwood End, going ahead and up towards Chase Water. There's a bit of noise in the background from guys riding around on motorbikes, but it's quite quiet here this morning, really. It can be really noisy with motorbikes, but uh, yeah. So I'm just doing a bit of easy endurance stuff. So right, it's been a while since I've done any videos, so a bit of an update. Uh, I think the last races I did were some time ago now. That was the watch shop two day thing in Staffordshire. And that was all right. I beat, I beat Dan Bigham uh, because he had a puncture on the first stage. So that was like a result. So I wasn't completely last. Um, but I was completely last, really. Um, so yeah, the first one, it was like, it was like the Stradi Bianchi. It was, they just, re, they just top dressed the road and it was, um, yeah, it was really dusty. I mean, it was like clouds of dust. They did their best. It was sweat, but it, <laughs> yeah, it was quite funny. Anyway, so I didn't do a PB. I don't think anyone did really. Uh, so second stage the day after was a 25 miler Swinnerton I think it is which is kind of like west northwest of Stafford basically 25 miles and up and down this dirty great hill um, so yeah it's a bit windy actually I don't know what this is going to sound like um, okay I'll keep going uh, yeah so that, that was all right. I wasn't last in that actually uh, that, that, was, it was, that, was, uh, that was a real great event actually, the watch shop guys did did a really good one, it's quite well supported, uh, yeah, definitely do that one again. So, I've really done a lot since then, I've uh, been training, getting ready for um, cyclocross season which starts next week, uh, <coughs> one of our young lads did when did the busker grass track thing so he's now he's got his sixth place in the nationals and uh fourth in the regional so that's really good <laughs> well done freddie that was really good good stuff mate um so yeah cyclocross starts um next weekend so i've been going and doing a bit of uh racing around the fields and stuff like that and doing some sprint intervals uh yeah that sort of thing uh one of my mates decided he wants to start racing so we've got a couple of time trials uh coming up another one up at western western stone and back 10 miler um that's vtta event and um oh my goodness um <laughs> It's amazing what you see in this around the canals. Oh my goodness. Do not pass this way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so uh, Sam started, decided she wants to race. So <clears throat> I found him a bike. I found him a 1980s rally super racing bike, which he's been training on. It's a bit big for him, but he's... We've done a couple of rides. First ride out, his pedal fell off, which is a bit unfortunate. Second ride actually did really well. We, we, came, we were doing some caning around the lanes, uh, doing a bit of hill stuff. Yeah, I think I think he'll do all right. Uh, well, if he trains, he'll be beating me pretty quick, I should think. <laughs> He's half my age, though, so there you go. Um, yeah, so cyclocross training, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that's kind of... That's me. All right, I'll, I'll do an update later. I might do another bit of video later on. All right. Well, here we are. That's where we are. We're out near Bampton. Just about to go up a bloody great hill. Um, so what am I doing down here? Well, um, just having a holiday. I'm gonna invite me down to go and do a bit of house sitting and lounge around and kind of enjoy the scenery, really. It's, it's, I brought this thing with me, so I'm going to go up any hills very quickly. Um, it's also been a bit, a bit of a sort of double-edged thing, really. Um, so, um, yeah, so last last weekend was the um, uh, Redditch Cyclocross, 
Um, so I'll just tell you about that. I was going to turn the screen around. So yeah, I went and did the Redditch thing, uh, cyclocross, um, kind of felt all right on it. Uh, into the first race in the 60 plus age group. Um, yeah, in hindsight, it, in hindsight, it was a bit of a disaster, really. I was three mile an hour average slower than the fastest I've done it on a couple of years ago. And uh, you know that that was, you know that was kind of like what was that mean? I don't know ten places. I was twenty fifth at thirty eight my age group. I was sprinted for ninety ninth place. At the, it was there's about hundred and forty riders and the whole thing, so you know it was pretty packed. I was gridded back, which was fair enough, I suppose. Um, so yeah, it was a bit. Oh, I'm sort of facing up to um, the fact that I might. I might have to go back to racing on my old bike because I think it was quicker. Um, you know, we have to be honest about these things, don't we? You know, we can't hide the fact that something ain't working, you know, the machinery or your training or whatever, and it's just not this wind's going to be like the same quality. But um, let's go in the wind a bit. So, yeah, so it's that. It's okay. It's kind, kind of know what I need to do. I need to. Up me training a little bit, and I'll use the other bike next time and see how we get on with it. So I've got another. I'm going to race this weekend, obviously, because I'm away. Um, next weekend is a time trial up in Western, which uh, is for full field. <laughs> I'm off number two. Uh, there's 130 riders in it. Uh, Sam didn't get a race. It was so so subscribed because he's a new rider and he's not. It's a VTTA championship, so. You know, he, he would have got in if they didn't have a full field, but obviously they had a full field, so that obviously that needs a new rider as well. So, um, yeah, that was a bit of a shame, but anyway, I'm going to go do that. Um, then after that, it's back to the cross again, and that would be Solly Hall, part of England thing. Like, so I'll use the old bike, I'll get the, the Van Nicholas out and use that. So, I'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, apart from that, I've been cool away on holiday and I'm blooming ill. Uh, I've, got, I've got a rheumatic thing that flares up occasionally usually when I'm on holiday which is a bit of a pain it's literally it's everything hurts um sometimes it's cold and you know work immersion cold water which I did I went in the lake uh first first day here um and I've just been ill ever since um I think it's stress sets it off and also kind of inactivity because normally I'm really I'm really busy and active and even though I'm tired from work it's kind of like just you know keeps me loose I guess and if I'm not it, I end up aching and like it's really bad I'm gonna have to go see the quack about it I don't I don't want to because I've been before and they told me to piss off effectively they told me I'm not giving you any drugs to go away it's like, <laughs> what's wrong with me but they never got to the bottom of it anyway so well, I think I'm going to have to go back so um, I've got a scan on my knee uh, next week because uh, that's play, playing up for about a year uh, trying to get to see what's going on with that so yeah I'm being bothered by a wasp now <laughs> that's a surprise so many wasps and hornets this year oh bugger off anyway right I'm going to ride up this hill I might video it <laughs> some of it alright <laughs> see you later Sure how big this hill is but on the map it looks like it's big and very steep so I'm not sure whether I'm gonna be able to film this all the way up. Quite a lot of butterflies this year. And where, where we're staying, uh, same place but next week. Um quiet <laughs> obviously compared to Walsall it's quiet. Um, sitting out in the garden watching the bats flying around at night. It's been really quite warm as well. Um, yeah, it's been like 25 degrees every day. Rain last night, but it's quite humid again today and warm. <coughs> yeah, this is all lovely, isn't it? It's a bit like being back in Malvern, to be honest. Um, 
maybe around Chase End or something. It's got that feel to it. Going past some cricket, some cricket being played earlier. Knocking doors around. Uh, it's a bit steep. <laughs> do this. <laughs> Not going to look very good on, very good on Strava, is it? <laughs> we'll see. Right, I'm going to put this down. So I'm recording this on the phone because the wind was so bad at the top of the hill. It was just terrible anyway. So yeah, here we are, top of the hill, absolutely splendid. It's the biggest hill I've rode up for a very long time, considerably bigger than what you might find at home in Warsaw. So uh, I was having a bit of a moan earlier because I was feeling rotten and it was, you know, you know, I was just having a bit of a moan. But actually my season isn't going too bad really. Um, my time trial has been okay. I've done some PBs and I've had a bit of fun with it. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and the other positive thing is that I managed to lose a bit, lose a bit of weight, and continue to lose a little bit of weight as we go along. Um, so I'm on a I'm on a fourteen ten fasting diet thing, which seems to be working. Um, I've been losing about half a pound a week. It's great. You know, sustainable sort of thing, really. I suppose. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of uh, enjoying my riding, really, and I'm a bit of fun. Uh, <clears throat> cyclocross. You know, like I said earlier on, I'm probably going to change my bike, uh, go back to the old bike because I think it's faster. But you know, I can live with that. That's just one of those things, isn't it? Just, you know. You have to make these choices and it'd be all right, I think. Unless I'm just rubbish, of course. <laughs> anyway, I might just leave you to enjoy the view. And, um, yeah, okay, right. I'll do another video soon, I think, maybe, if you're really, really lucky. Okay. Catch you later.